and Ashley is fixing to put our Arkansas sticker on. There's Arkansas. Good. First state it's been set up in for camping. Well, good early morning, YouTube. Tim with Outdoors for Adventure. Me and Ashley are in the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk fixing to head out on this January 28th. At what time is it? 5.40 in the morning. Headed toward Denton, Texas to pick up our new 2023 Rockwood 1910 ESP pop-up camper. So, here we go. You ready? Good morning, yeah. Okay. And we're off. Okay, we're picking up our new Rockwood 1910 ESP pop-up camper from Funtown RV. So far, I'm very happy with the experience. If you come up here, talk to Jason, the guy walking up right there. Y'all, this is our first night of having it in a park. Um, I had to work until 5, so by the time we got here, it was dark, obviously. But we're super excited about camping. And let me walk y'all around a little bit. We've got the motion lights on here. Um, and here's the awning. Oh, you can't see a thing, can you? Here, here's the awning in the door and the steps and we pulled it with Tim's G which you obviously can't see but here we are Tim's unpacking the stuff out of the whole trunk situation here So, yeah, just wanted to get y'all started.
Hi babe, what you doing on this fine morning? Setting up chairs. It's a little cold this morning, guys. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty overcast. I think it's in the mid 40s. Um, I accidentally took a wrong turn out of the restaurant this morning, and I've walked the entire park, which is very pretty. Got some good um, pictures that y'all will enjoy later on, and just wanted to say good morning. Let's see what Tim's got going on here on the griddle. Ooh, chicken fajitas. And he's got his little citronella firebox going. It's still very cold here. It's high 40s. What you doing, dear? Getting ready to cook. I just showed him your chicken fajitas yeah. you started. Yeah. He's so ready to be on his leash. He followed his command really well. That's it. He just came. We got a beautiful view, even if it is cold. Spending some time outside of the pop-up. We got some cookies going on the Coleman oven. We got the King Camp fire pit going good. Putting out some heat. Good times at camp. Remy's in his chair. So what's been your favorite thing about this camping trip so far? Nature as always. And Ashley's over there doing her thing, the knitting. In the sock? Yep. I feel like I've been knitting with the same pair of socks for a hundred years. I think I've shown it. Why are you so close to me? I think I've shown this same pair of socks for several videos. Hey, you get them. 
All right, guys, we're just gonna sit back and enjoy our fire pit and wait on some cookies. Well, so we're letting the fire burn down. We've had some marshmallows and some cookies. Now we've got the last batch cooking. In the stove over there. I'm getting pretty good at getting them just right. And Remington did have a marshmallow beard. It still does. Oh, I see him. And as soon as that batch of cookies gets done and this fire burns down a little more, we're moving back inside where it's really warm. Oh, and while I'm talking about warm, this Rockwood has heated mattresses. And it has, the mattress has a plug that plugs into it kind of like an electric blanket. And when I first checked them out, I didn't think they was all that. Well, last night we got down to 40s. And all I'm using to heat that is a small electric heater. And I did turn the gas or the propane heater on, but I set it really low. So it had to get really cold before it would come on. And those, that electric heated mattress pad in there was wonderful last night. So it worked way better than I first thought it did. So I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, both bunks have those heated mattresses in them. So, And we also had a 2 inch egg crate on top of that heated mattress. Some people say that you know you can't put nothing on top of them because you won't feel in the heat. But you most certainly can. Thought I'd touch base on that. We're loving the pop up so far. fire's dying down out there. We are actually sitting in the pop-up watching the fire. It's just too blooming cold out there. At least we can sit here and watch the flames. Won't be long, it'll be completely out. Okay, it's morning time for Sunday on our camping trip at Wide Oak State Park in our new Rockwood 1910 ESP pop-up camper and using the new Coleman bake oven that Ashley got me. And this morning's breakfast is going to be cinnamon rolls. I just now put them in. You barely see them in there if they're gonna be good and I've got my stuff to disperse the heat completely off the bottom of that pan so we'll see how they turn out so far uh, we've made cookies and cinnamon rolls and it's everything's turning out pretty good guys this is the kitchen area in the pop-up and we have gas or propane heater there the thermostat to that is over in this corner down below that is the switches 
for the hot water heater you flip that switch and it automatically lights your hot water heater down below that where the green light is is a usb port charger two plugs in the middle is your uh, electric refrigerator 12 volt 110 and uh, it works fine the freezer freezes and the other keeps stuff cold once you figure out your adjustment for that where your canned uh, drinks don't freeze you're good to go on ours it's about number six and a half on the dial above that you have storage this one has a pull out drawer then over on this side this just opens up under the sink keep your sponges and stuff and you can put we've got parchment paper in there aluminum foil stuff like that so it's not wasted space and of course you're a hot and cold water sink you've got a three burner propane stove with a backsplash and then you got a window behind that which we have closed and then above that is a hanging storage just clips up there and I want to go ahead and make this part of the video because we're actually tearing down the head home and I wanted to show you how that hangs up there before I put it in storage and we'll show you some more of the camper in a minute we're just packing up so stuff isn't completely put up but that baby hammock as they're referred to clips up here to these black clacks and when you're laying in there, you can store stuff. And there's pockets hanging down on that side. This was a queen bed on this side. And we have the reflective insulation. Covers that full back window. And just has some scraps that we put in the side windows. To keep it warm. Keep it cool. Of course, you have curtains that shut the bunks off. I've already showed you the sink here. And we've already, there was a table here for four, and it has an extension to where someone can sit on this side, and there'll be six people that could sit there. But we've already folded it, kind of, this would be your bed position here. This opens up, your porta potty goes up in there, underneath there, and you just lift that up and leave it up if you're using it. And it has this curtain that slides around. For privacy if I can get back far enough you can see it and you take care of your your business and that's good for you don't want to go across to the restrooms or if you don't have restrooms although we do have a setup where we can have an outdoor restroom but that's this is just convenient we didn't know about it when we first saw it but it works we did use this and this is just like a full bed over here. I've got the curtains to the middle because we're, you know, fixing to pop everything down. Up top is the Benefan. You want one of them in a pop-up, that's for sure. No tinted windows. Which I don't love. And I have found that you do not have to unzip the corners. Yeah, and here's some rain. I have to pop this back up when we get home. One, to make sure things are dry. We're going to pull some sheets off and get them in the laundry. And I had a small water leak on the water pump down here that I found. And we're going to pop it back up. And I'm going to put some uh, thread seal on that connection and retighten it and make sure that I have that leak fixed. As far as the inside, oh, we have the ac fan up top and then we have four lights like these and in the center is a turn them on and off individually or you have switch down here for your ceiling lights and then your awning lights which is a big long strip that is very bright you have a blank for floor lights this is your wi-fi ranger booster AM, FM, Bluetooth, auxiliary, uh, you can hook your USB 
I forgot what these are called, TV type cable. You have inside outdoor speaker zones. I'm not even showing it to you. Inside outdoor speaker zones. You have a plug over here. Fire extinguisher down here. Down here you have your GoPro solar stuff. You have your uh, inverter remote or push button right there. You have your carbon monoxide tester and you have your water pump switch. There's a speaker on that end. You have three drawers for storage here with the TV antenna jack. And I think there's another plug over there. There's a USB charge port under that bunk over there, which is kind of silly to me because it's behind the cushions and kind of in the way. I may have to do something different there. I already showed you the one there. There's also a speaker over here. There's a plug and you have, I use this for our kitchen stuff. That way if I'm cooking outside, I can just reach in there and get it. Two steps. On this door, you can completely remove these if you want and have a full screen open door if you want to. Or you can do half door, which is all we'd probably do. You have big bunk storage. I put these motion lights all the way around it. We have five. Outdoor speaker, porch light, dual plug, propane hose for your griddle or whatever you're cooking with. There's another one of them lights that I put on. This is for your awning post if you're using them. If you want to put them there instead of on the ground. You have a full length old awning up there in that whole thing right there at black strip. That is a LED light strip. It lights up this whole area. I put this pipe on the back. That's where all these bunk poles go and the post safety post, all that goes in that. And it puts a little weight back here so I take some off of the tongue. And it also uh, keeps from scratching stuff in, up inside. You see the spare tire there. All LED lights. Big corner jacks. We lost a little bit of water when I carried the tank to the car so we can empty it. I didn't realize it was that full, but it's just water. We just rinse some stuff off. And here's another one of those solar motion lights. They work really good. You have your TV cable connection, that little square one, city water connection your uh, camp power plug. This is your AC prep. It, you actually pull it out and it goes up and plugs into the side of the camper. That's where, what powers your air conditioner. This is your heater exhaust. And there's your water tank. I think it's a 20 gallon tank that you put fresh water in. I put this level here. This is an outdoor shower. The hose and everything is inside the camper. This is your hot water heater. You can see the information there. This has dual batteries. There's another one of them lights. Dual propane tanks. Electric motor that raises the top on the camper. It's a little bit loud, but hey, it works. Manual tongue jack. Dual chain. This actually holds everything. Emergency brake. Safety switch. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it, I think. The box is really nice. I, we really use it a lot. I don't know really what else to tell you about it. I think we covered everything. I did go ahead and buy a 
surge protector it also tell you if that plug's wired right or not 30 amps so better safe than sorry well, so far it's been working just fine i plugged it in it told me that it was wired correctly and supposed to protect us on surges But anyway, that's it for now. We're going to uh, go ahead and start folding it down and heading toward the house. But this is awesome campground. We'll definitely be back. Remy's ready to go on to the house now. And yeah, we're almost done. It doesn't take long. When you get to the point where you're just ready to fold it down, it doesn't take long. So anyway, uh, that's all for now. We camped in Arkansas and we get to put an Arkansas stamp on our map. You said yeah. One thing about a pop-up is the weight difference in a hard side camper. Although you can get some hard sides that don't weigh much more than this one, but you're pulling a bunch more wind. And even pulling this with this Cherokee, like right now, which this is pretty, hilly curvy two lane and we're getting 14.1 miles per gallon so there's your gas mileage part of it weight wise this Cherokee is rated to 4,500 pounds and uh, I did a video talking about this before and I, if you'll pan up toward the road here you'll see that this is kind of hilly and curvy and the Cherokee has no issues pulling this camper and we're probably about 3,000 pounds maybe even 3,100 pounds and the Cherokee handles it like a champ I've been watching all the gauges all the gauges stay where they're supposed to be and there's no power issues there's no braking issues with the brake controller so it does really good with this pop-up the pop-up doesn't sway I haven't had any issues with the towing staying where it's supposed to be behind us <laughs> and uh, everything just working really good so if you're driving a Cherokee and you're wanting to get one of these pop-ups uh, especially ours is the higher off-road type pop-up the Cherokee is gonna handle it just fine just be sure you get your brake controller and we went ahead and put a sway bar on just in case but honestly I don't think you're gonna need it but other than that I just want to let y'all know that like we're going up a, we're going up a good hill now and it down shifts but it's not an issue so we're on our way home we had a great weekend at white oak state park and we really are enjoying this pop-up already hope y'all had a good weekend don't forget to hit that subscribe button talk to you later